Well, hello there. Today I'm going to show you an operation uh, going on right now. I'm actually have a new scope, my Astrotech 115, and I'm going to. Um, well, I'm in the process of doing imaging M187 uh, and M78, and I've got a session going right now, and I've just turned it off because so I'm going to do a meridian flip by hand. I like doing it by hand, and I'm going to go to the star. I'm going to go to Rigel. No, I'm going to go to Aldebaran right now. And I'm doing that just to check on the focus, to make sure my focus is still focused. I am taking luminosity uh, uh, images right now. Or taking, yeah, I'm taking luminosity images right now. Sorry about that. And hold on, and I will go to Aldebaran right now. Press Aldebaran. OK. Let's go to and the mount is doing the meridian flip right now. I'll turn it off right now until it focuses in on it. So I'll pause it right now. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. You'll notice. Aldebaran's nowhere in sight, so what I've got to do, I'm going to um, do a, uh, there it is, I'm going to do plate solving in order to find, I'm close by it, I just, it's my alignment, I don't know, my go-to's not perfect right now. Image solved. So it solved it, so I'm close, I'm within uh, 10 degrees, so I'm going to sync it, and I'm going to zoom right in on it using plate solving and here it goes let's see what see what we get exposure started exposure finished now oh, that was quick there I am there is Aldebaran okay and I'm going to put the button off mask on the scope. And nothing happens because I don't have a live view on. There it is. Looks pretty good so far. And I'm going to go to tools and put the batten off mask gate on here just to check it out for good. Oh, by the way, you can actually maximize the screen so you get a better view of it. So now you can really see it. Let me press recalc. And uh, that's pretty good. I'm actually satisfied with that. If it's bouncing around, like, li li if it's bouncing around like between uh, less than one, you're you're in pretty good shape. Okay, so I'm confident that I've still got focus. Take the batten off mask off. Okay. And now I'm going to go back to my M78. Now that I'm on this side, it should um, it should stay on this side of the meridian. So let's see if it works. Um, to objects, click over to M78. There it is. Okay. Press go to. And of course, it's going all the way back around for the meridian. I don't know why it keeps doing this. Lately, um, or at least on some images, even though it's past the meridian. I have to wait until like 190 uh, de degrees until it um, until I don't have to do this marine flip. It's very um, discouraging. I don't I don't know how well how else to say this. Anyways, so we'll have to stay tuned. All right, I'm back and I'm currently en route to trying to get it to stay on this side of the meridian. Uh, right now I'm on. Orion Nebula, because it's very close to M78, 
Orion says the azimuth is uh, 191 degrees right now, which is well past the meridian. I'm going to try to go to M78, and hopefully it'll stay on this side of the meridian. Sometimes I, I do this. Uh, I go to something that's definitely past, like M42, but it close. And now I'm going to hit M78, and I'm going to press go to, and hopefully it won't do a flip. Voila! <laughs> Good, there we go. It stayed on this side of the meridian. Yay! Okay, and I'm close, but no cigar. So what I'm going to do is do plate solving again. So we're going to uh, hit M78, hit OK, press Solve. Image solved. It solved it. I'm going to sync it. And then I'm going to press Objects, make sure it's M78, OK, go to plus plus. Give it a few minutes or a couple seconds to do its thing. Exposure started. Exposure finished. All right. Now, I'm not done with it yet because I reframed this. Actually, it was um, originally it was up and down, but with this new telescope and new focuser, I've got a uh, rotatable camera thing, and this is awesome. I, I just rotate it to however I want it. But I'm actually going to want to um, put the center right there, and this is how you do put the center right there. You press sync is already sunk so then I'm going to uh, press it again sync and I'm going to press aim and I'm going to press that star right there and I'm going to press go to plus plus and then it's going to center it right there that's where I had it centered when it was uh, before it did the meridian flip and hopefully it'll, presumably it'll go right back there and I'll be I'll have this image framed perfectly Ah, there it is. Beautiful. And I'm going to turn off Go to plus plus finished. this. And it's right on that star. Absolutely perfect. And I'm going to turn off point craft because I don't need it anymore. And I'm already centered. I'm already framed. I'm going to turn on PhD to guiding. And connect all. And whenever you do a meridian flip, after you do the flip, you have to turn off, or it's a good idea to turn off PHD2 and start over and have it redo its alignment, uh, or its integration, whatever you want to call it. So you, you'd, that's only after you do a meridian flip. If you're still on the same side of the meridian, you don't have to do it. You can just stop it and start it. But uh, after you do the flip, then you got to turn it off and have it redo its alignment. Anyways, I'm going to pause it right now. Okay, I'm back. I'm guiding in with PhD2. Everything looks good. And I'm going to go back to camera. And I'm going to go to my exposures. I've got uh, 60 second or 60 uh, second exposures. I'm taking 60 of them. And it's uh, bin 1.1, and everything looks good. Hopefully, we'll see what kind of image we get when we're when we're done. This is on just luminosity right now. This is, I'm using my luminosity filter. I'll add color some other day. I'm going to try to get as much luminosity as I can. Anyways, that's all there is to it. Thank you. We'll see you later.